Alright, so we're going to continue today with some more Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Um, pretty much what I ended up doing is I ended up just sleeping and resting up for most of the day. Like I said I was going to do. I said I was going to take a pretty big break. And that's exactly what I did. So this is not going to be one of my longer sessions, which usually are like four to six hours long. This is probably going to be a shorter one, just to kind of wrap up maybe this area, maybe one more probably won't advance the story today just because um, I'd rather do the story with a fresh mind when I'm awake I feel like that's probably the best usage of my time oh jeez okay a lot of these guys are just normal dudes they're just running around let's uh let's let's begin I guess I should watch my step. Just in general, I, I try to only really focus on story elements when I'm actually, you know, like completely and fully awake. Which is good because this game I was about to say, glitch shot again. Which is good because this game has a lot of I don't wanna say necessarily like off time, but there's certainly a lot of stuff in this game <clears throat> that you can kinda just do. And it just is. Like, it's not anything too involving, too whatever. But what, like I said, I do want to hit level 50 today because I do want to get that whole mess out the way. And I do want to clear up some of these areas because the more areas I do in a day, the less areas I have to do the next day, the more we can focus on quests and story. So that, that's pretty much how I'm looking at it. Just die quickly! And I think we made good progress today too. <clears throat> the only thing, um, I think there's something I left on Crete. I can't remember what it is for the life of me though. Wait a minute. Oh shit. I left the Ostraka on the other side of the wall. You know, I really am not a fan of that. Oh, fuck. Once again, they always guess right. These guys should literally be, like, detectives. They're too bad they're born in this time period. They'd be perfect detectives, always showing up where the evidence is. Just out of nowhere. I can't believe it. Come. Eh, shut up. They home in on that shit, my dude. Okay, and kill the captain. Uh, let's see. Okay, good. You never know, sometimes something like that you will not one shot. But I think I'm pretty good. I think it does just slightly over two times damage. So that wasn't that was actually a pretty good usage of my ability. So I can continue doing these quests, which I think I'll do because most of them give me enough rewards to move on and level up. Uh, I did not travel down the mountain range. I mean, hypothetically, we could probably do it because that will be a decent way, at least, to get into Messenia. Because then we could just ride down the mountain and then ride back up. And if nothing happens, I'll just hyperspeed it. Or just remove it entirely. I think something like that I'll hyperspeed. Uh, just because it'll probably at least make for something interesting to watch and fast forward at hyperspeed. Okay. So which which wife is this again? You are the Eagle Bearer. Wonderful. Magistrate Xanthi has spoken highly of you. Very kind of her. So here's the thing. My children have promising futures. Oh, yeah, it's the ones that are running the, the teaching school. They think they know better, but they can't recite a poem to save their lives. Where do I fit into this? They've heard of the Eagle Bearer and worship the ground you walk on. If you related an epic story to them, I bet they retain it and impress their tutors. Okay, sure. It's an odd request, but I've been asked to do stranger things. I'll do it. 
My children are waiting inside the temple of the Onisos Colonatas for today's epic story. The subject is Perseus, which they should know well, but seem to forget all when questioned. All right. I know the story well, of course, but my preferred version may not be what your children expect. Do not fear. If you need a reminder, there are many relics related to Perseus in the hall adjacent to the temple of the Onisos Colonatas. Good to know. Well, since I don't know anything about this, I absolutely need to review this. Tributes to Perseus are in the temple. Go over here. No, these are the kids. Okay, they're in here. Perseus was given a mirror bright shield from Athena, protector on. Uh, from Athena, protector on. From Athena, protector on the command of Zeus Most High. I guess? Perseus could safely face the Gorgon Medusa without turning a stone by looking at her reflection only in the shield. King Ar I might get rid of my bounty before this happens. He forced his daughter and her baby into the box and at the Crate cast into the Wild Sea. Yeah, they it's it's the blood guilt they were talking about earlier. Perseus and his mother were found and rescued by the fisherman Dictes. Perseus was raised by him. Oh lord. I'm not, I'm not gonna remember all this. I, need to, I gotta save. One day his grandson would kill him. He, he locked his unwed daughter in a room of bronze. It's kinda out of order. Okay, so. Hermes gave him a sickle. His adventures done, newly married, he returned to Argos and took part in honored games. He threw the discus, his sword so. It, oh wow, it kills his father by mistake. Now yeah, I remember that part of the story. Uh, let me quick save. Oh boy, I can't wait to see this. Hello, I'm... The Eagle Banner. We've heard all about you. All right, Are you going nice. to tell us a story today? Do we have to listen? We've heard it a hundred times. Well, yes, you're going to listen again. And, yes, I'm telling you a story. There you go. Let me tell you about a... Uh... Listen well to the epic tale of Perseus. The voice of the gods about the exploits of brave Perseus and the noble Pegasus. Okay... Zeus visited a mortal woman as a golden Achilles, shower. The king of Argos was not a good man. He had one child, a daughter, Danae. Bitter that he had no son, he went to the Oracle of Delphi and heard a prophecy that chilled him. Ooh, what was it? The Oracle said Acrisius would be killed by his grandson, but Danae was unmarried and childless at the time. To protect himself, he locked Danae in a bronze room open only to the sky. Ooh. However, mighty Zeus saw the girl and fell in love with her. He transformed into a golden shower and seduced her. God, this and would I sound so different in modern day times. Perseus. I knew it. King Acrisius couldn't kill the boy for fear of angering Zeus. So he put his daughter and grandson in a wooden crate and tossed them into the wild sea to be drowned. How horrid! Poor Perseus! Do I have anything else to- oh, here we go. He grew up under the care of a fisherman, Dictus. Perseus and his mother, Danae, were rescued on the island of Seriphos, and Perseus grew up under the care of a kindly fisherman, Dictus. Lucky them! Did the gods help? Maybe. Perseus learned to swim and ride and fight, and how to be good and just, even though his father was only a fisherman. I can do all those things too. Yeah, good for you. Except swim. Uh -oh. Or be just. Hush. Now, Victis's brother was ruler of the island, but he was not a good man. He's scum. Okay. An evil ruler wants to marry Denai. He sees beautiful Andromeda. I think it's an impossible quest because he has to go kill the uh, Medusa. The cruel king of Seriphos, Dictis' brother, Polydectis, 
decided he wanted to marry the Nai, for she was still beautiful and noble. But Perseus knows his mother does not want this. Victis couldn't stop his brother, so it was up to Perseus to interfere and be annoying. <laughs> Christos, that's your job. I will keep the stinky king from marrying you. The cruel and uh, stinky king became angry. To get rid of Perseus, Polydectis sent him on an impossible quest. Prove yourself a warrior, and fetch me a worthy wedding gift, the king said. By killing a great monster! Yeah, by killing Medusa, who you can't look at. I knew it too! Uh, he must get the Golden Fleece. No, Jason got the Golden Fleece. So it, it, it must be this one. Polydectis told Perseus to bring back the head of Medusa, the Gorgon whose gaze could turn anyone who looked into her eyes to stone. Ah! Polydectis knew that Medusa would be Perseus' death. That stinking! But the evil king did not know Perseus was favored by the gods. Hermes gifted Perseus with winged sandals and a silver sickle. And Athena gave him a bronze shield, polished, mirror bright. Perseus flew to Medusa's lair and used the shield to watch her reflection. Yeah. He cut off her head with the sickle of Hermes. As she died, the winged foal Pegasus sprung from her neck. Yes! Flying home, Perseus found the maiden Andromeda chained on the Ethiopian cliffs, waiting to be sacrificed to the baleful sea monster Ketos. Perseus used Medusa's head to turn Ketos to stone, rescued Andromeda, and married her. Take that, Ketos! Perseus returned home to find King Polydectes relentlessly pursuing the Nye. They quarreled, and Perseus showed the king his wedding gift. <laughs> he saw Medusa's That's head, fucked up. Polydectes turned to stone. Yes! Okay. Competes in games. He fights Hades, what? That's like Orpheus's story. No, he, he competes in the games Perseus afterwards. Perseus traveled to Argos with his family, and one day competed in the great athletic games. He hurled the discus, and his throw was so great that it shot into the stands and struck King Acrisius. So doing, Perseus killed his grandfather and fulfilled the prophecy. Hurra! You can't escape your fate. In the end, Perseus and Andromeda settled in Mykine as king and queen, and had seven sons and two daughters, the Perside. That was a great telling of the tale. I'll never forget it. Maybe the best. I can't wait to tell all my friends. I'm glad they liked it. Now stop being uh, little shits. How about that? You. I couldn't help overhearing the end of your story. Truly inspiring, Eagle Bearer. Thank you. Okay, I guess now they'll listen. Sure, I guess. I don't even know what I did that was really so helpful, but the game says so, so I guess it must be so. Let's do this. Really quickly, I just want to hit up the shop, as you know. I'm going to be prepped for level 50. I'm going to be ready to roll as soon as I hit it, because I'm so, like, I could feel, I guess it's my gear. Which is why I don't have the resistances I need to resist some of these attacks. Uh, where is it? It would be... by... And at the very bottom. I forget. Oh my god. Well, I don't really have anything to talk about. At this point, I have talked so much in this playthrough, I don't really know what else to even begin to talk about. I talked about my history a little bit. With schooling, I talked about... All the old games I've played, I talked about ideas for the channel in the future. I'm, I'm talking about what I've talked about. I've literally run out of conversation topics. It's crazy. And there's still more to come. But I'm going to keep playing Let as usual. If you need else. I'm not going to stop. I'm, I mean, I'd like to maybe say that it'll take me another three days to beat this game, but i got to render shit. Like, so I might take a day off, honestly, because i got to sleep. And if I don't sleep, then I honestly, literally just can physically not sit through a playthrough. And that that's something that's a new, that's a new thing for me that I'm kind of trying to get used to. Is if I don't actually get rest, I can't do a playthrough. At least not commentating. And if I'm really tired, I just can't, I just, I'm suffering. 
So thankfully I'm not doing too poorly right now. So I'm looking for something over here. I can just go in and, and do the stabbing like usual. I should be good. Okay. Instant kill. This fucker. Minus 40% adrenaline consumed by the shadow of Nick's ability and the pilgrim's garment. Take a look at it. It's probably not as good as what I have on. Uh, before I do that, let me go to the map. I'm gonna just. Where's the last one? See, they're both out here. I already went all over these places. This is into Arcadia. So I guess we'll just have to ride out. We'll do this. Sacred favors. Dude, I need boots. I need to find me better boots. This is 25% adrenaline on the assassination kill. On the assassination kill. On a assassination kill. And 30% armor, 10% total assassin damage. It's kind of like a weird inverse of what I would normally get. Because all the chest gear for assassins has like this weird... Oh. Bro, I'm not wearing the whole scaled set. That's not happening. And the reason why is because I need some warrior damage. So I'll take the 10%. I just need to upgrade everything so I get more power. Yeah, I'm not I'm not wearing the full scaled set. Apparently I did find it though. I think I, so I so wait a minute, can I get the achievement now then? To put on the full scaled set? Let's see. Mr. Artemis's hood. Oh, yeah, here we go. We have the Vipers. Wait, wasn't I gonna put this on anyway? I think I was going to switch this. And the Viper's Hood. Which is better because, eh, yeah, whatever. I'll wear the Viper's Hood. It looks cooler anyway. Uh, what else? There's the Viper's Gauntlets. The Bracers of Theseus. The Bracers of Achilles. There you go. The Venom Gloves. Oh my god, this set is amazing. Holy shit. What was I wearing before? 25%, 10%. 11 yeah, it's only 1%. But it has the armor, though. Fuck me, I'm not wearing the whole set. Forget it. Uh, it's the Noxious Boots. And then lastly... The Scaled Vest. Fashion's Creed. There we go. Okay, let me put back on my actual gear. Plus, this stuff doesn't really have good defense, even when it's leveled up. Okay. I'll put on the Viper's Hood, just because I, I think that that extra time extension is good for each tick. When it's upgraded, I think that'll be helpful. But, otherwise, I don't really think so. Well, the Pilgrim's Hood, I mean... Eh. You know, maybe I'll just leave it as things are. Yeah, maybe I should put these back on. No, this is plus four. Yeah, I'll keep these on. Because this does have more... This is a higher damage. Yeah, but the crouching speed while moving isn't good, so whatever. Okay, anyway. I just wanted to do that really quickly. Prom night, okay. Okay, Ubisoft. 
Alrighty then. It's just like prom night. There's a very bad, awkward joke in there somewhere. I used to make the joke that people would fuck like it's prom night. But, Get up! Uh, that was such a early to mid 2010 spray and pray joke. It, it's it's so far removed from the realm of anything I've said in forever. That it's just kind of like, well, okay, sure. Wow, it's so funny. I mean, to be fair, most of my jokes are, quote, so funny, unquote. Okay, so let's continue on now, now that I'm out here. What is this quest? For sacred favors? Is she the one having problems with her land, I think? One of them was, uh... No, this one was she wanted to talk specifically with me about it. Yes, I am. Where do you know justice? Your hair oh, must have been woven by Athena. Your body is like a sculpture made by the masters. And your arms look so strong. What do you need, strong lady? Enough to... Strong enough to... Strong enough to carry this basket to my husband, Calibos. Amazing. Oh, right. The magistrate mentioned you. Okay. It'll be easy to carry. Thank you so much. Let me know if you need anything. Okay, yeah, where can I where find your husband? Where might I find Calibos? He's an important general. His unit is stationed in the northeast near the fort of Presai, down by the beach. Okay. What's in the basket? What any man would need on the eve of battle to win the respect of the gods. Please, Eagle Bearer. It would give him an edge over his enemies. Well, clearly I'm going to do this, delivery. so there's there's no saying no. Sacred favors. Do I really have to walk this? I think that's kind of the meme here, is I do have to walk this package all the way out there. Yeah, down the road, basically. Right? Down by the beach. Okay, so that way I won't have to go in. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... Quick, save. This is heavy. What's in here? Bricks? Can I just not quick save while carrying this thing? Yeah, it seems like it. Let me put it down. Okay. I'm gonna quick save because you never know what the fuck is gonna happen here. Okay. This game seems to be good with restoring the world to the way it was before a quick save. And I say that um, mostly because when I had that big glitch and I thought I was going to have to redo that fight, it literally restored everything to how it was the instant the fight ended. Most games when they reload, they'll usually do like some weird shit. Is it this route or is it the next one? Yeah, keep going. We go. Oh, this is a long journey. Most games, when they reload, they'll just unload bodies. They'll pretty much just dump you back in as though it was a fresh boot. This game pretty much will reload the world as it was, which I think is at least worthy of a little bit of credit. I'm not saying it's the first game to do it, but it is something that you don't see a lot of open world games doing. So I give it a little bit of credit where it's due, because this game definitely at least went a little bit towards the extra mile. Now, that said, you know, there's a lot of things in games I thought would catch on and would become pretty much industry standard when I played them as a kid. And I think the biggest example I could give of that, and I always forget about this sometimes, is that um, in Mario Sunshine, if you're backed up against a wall, the camera will phase through the wall and it will generally let you see what's going on. Even if it has to reduce you to like question marks and stuff, it will generally kind of show you what's going on. And it wasn't perfect in that game, but it was certainly above and beyond. It was certainly really well done for what it was. And I'm actually kind of surprised that that did not become industry standard and get built upon in future games. Like in modern day games, if you get backed into a wall, your, your camera is just going to go fucking crazy sometimes. I tried to do it there. It's, it's, you got to kind of have a wall that the camera can't escape through. Like, if I do this, instead of phasing through the wall, the camera just gets smashed up against the back of it. It's kind of weird, but it is what it is. So 
So I'm not mad at that at all. I mean, I am a little bit, but I mean, it, it's something that could have been done. But it wasn't. Maybe someday they'll rediscover it. The ancient uh, gaming uh, culturists will rediscover Mario Sunshine and finally put it as its rightful place as the best Mario game ever instead of some stupid Wii games. But I'm biased, <laughs> if you can't tell. I mean, I did give them a fair chance, but I'm biased. Okay. And Mystios? Well, Matt, what brings you to our camp? You are Kalibos. Your wife sent me to deliver this package. I think it might be some kind of offering. Zefxo is a good woman. She's gifted me with a basket fit for Dionysos. Earthly pleasures? She made it sound like it was a case of life and death. A deathly hangover, maybe. Boys, we're having a good night. Care to join us, friend? Yeah, how can you drink before you sure a battle? Are you sure you want your soldiers this intoxicated while in the field? Oh, I must have misjudged you. Are you not also a Spartan? The only thing we're better at than fighting is drinking. I see your point. <laughs> uh, I won't Thank drink. You for offering. I don't like to dull my senses this close to battle. I will stay and keep you and your men company through the night. You so have to keep them company, though. This There's no other awesome. option. Alright, so we had a night of partying and shit, but I didn't drink at all. Plus, to be fair, what if it's a trap? I don't know. Maybe I'm over... Oh, wait a minute. What the fuck? Oh, okay, it's time's passing. Okay. I got worried for a minute there. Dude, they are laid out. These Could dudes are done. someone pass the water skin? Someone passed my head. I think I left it farther down the beach. I didn't even drink last night. Why am I seeing a Trojan horse? Um. We can offer it to Poseidon Earthshaker for safe passage across the sea. Careful! This was a trap the last time. <laughs> yeah, it's an it's an ambush. Wow. What, who the fuck thought of this? This is, what is it, Demo Fines or whatever? This is all him right here. This is all his plan, to be truthful. You can smell it on him. What? Oh my god. I fucked up that parry with something fierce. Shit, shit. Yeah, maybe I should just play passively. Just bait and shit. Just bait for parries. Maybe that will just be better. It just what really sucks, and that poor guy got murdered, is that you can never really go on the offensive, it seems, because they could just parry, they could just do attacks constantly. Every time they dodge, they could just dodge right out of it. And you have to either parry or dodge away. I don't even know where this guy is, supposedly. Here he comes. Oh, shit. Bruh. Okay. He's gonna be one of those guys. Come on. I didn't expect to actually have to fight someone my level here. I really want to just get rid of the bear. Oh! There's two of them. There's a good chance I could die here then. Okay, well they managed to finish up the, the Athenians. I gotta actually have a full-on fight with these idiots. Listen, you guys want to do all this dumb archery bullshit. I don't want to do it. But if you're going to do it, I'm going to do it too. Okay, he just flails randomly. Wait, where have I heard that before? Look at that. He tur Okay. <laughs> this is why mercenaries sometimes piss me the fuck off, dude. Give me a break. Okay. 
I like how I phased through that sword right there. Okay, get rid of this dude. Doing ridiculous damage and almost insta-killing me. I would have been real pissed if I instantly died from a dude I hadn't even seen into the fight. I would have been actually annoyed. Oh shit, she was super armoring through it. I figured it would break her guard irregardless. Okay. No music, because we it's kind of a weird branch off fight from the one that was on the beach. Okay. Well, she wasn't nearly as bad, because she didn't have as many tricks. It was the other guy who was bad. They don't even give me good gear. They just show up and give me jack shit, pretty much. Alright, well, you guys survived, and the, the Athenians proved that they have no originality whatsoever. I once boasted to a friend that I was a better tactician than Odysseus himself. Today I was proven wrong. You live to fight another day. Learn from this. Please, thank my wife for her festive gift. I don't know if I should thank her or curse her. Yeah, because it almost got us all killed. Good thing I didn't drink. Sacred favors. Good fucking luck, man. Alright, well this is the last quest I could find, and I guess afterwards we return back to her. Which is... wait, what? Okay, sometimes when you do this stuff... I guess maybe I should just start dumping my rating, to be honest. If I don't want to be ambushed. It's not that I can't win the fights, it's that they always seem to happen at the worst time, and I'm always kind of caught off guard by it, and I never do well in them. Some dude shows up with a poison arrow, he hits me with it, and it does like 20% of my life bar, and then does another 25 every tick. I mean, that's just annoying. It hasn't killed me too much, but it is, it is annoying to really kind of play a game, and then, you know, I'm... There's no power levels in this game. The, the leveling system in this game is pretty much redundant. They might as well just have ratings, and you might as well just be the yeah. constant three-star rating center of the universe, while things are either one star or five stars above or below you. Because clearly, these dudes are, are just... It, it doesn't really matter. I'm level 49, so what? What I really am is I'm level... I'm level three, where there's level one enemies... And otherwise, you know, there could be level 5 enemies, and I'm going to aggro every single monster on the way over here. Here is this what I mean. Like, the leveling system kind of gets made irrelevant, because the leveling range is not wide enough. Which I think that that's one critique, or critique, one criticism Magistrate of the game I have. Sanzi told me you've been having but trouble anyway. with your farm. Crop failure. It's as if Ares herself salted the earth. How are the crops failing? Blight. Few plants grow, and the ones that do are wilted and covered in spots. The gods would never let this happen if they were happy. It's my godless Elotes, I tell you. You're a messenger of Zeus. You show them the light. Okay, yeah, I'll talk to them. I'll find out what's happening. Oh, thank Zeus. My Elotes, Tefta and Maron, they work the fields, but they do not respect the gods. Teach them. Okay, what's wrong with that? I haven't seen other farms in the Seems area. Seems like it's an investigation, so I'll question her. Causing the difference. The grain grew in short and dry. Then the animals started to grow ill. Obvious signs of displeasing Persephone or her mother. Maron claims the animals have been poisoned, but I have no enemies to speak of. Okay. What makes you blame your Ilotes for the blight? Well, literally, why not? with the plants and animals. They do not worship as you and I do. I thank Dimitir for all she gives us at the end of each day, but they just reap the bounty of her hard work. So, it's divine intervention? What else dictates our fates? Huh, Defta won't stop babbling about the soil. Thinks I overwork my farm. Idiot woman. As if this oh, farm yeah, okay. hasn't been my family for No crop rotation. I'll go talk with your Elotes and see what they know. Uh... 
godless blight. <laughs> the fucking boar literally chased me over a hundred meters. He was really that pissed off. Unironically, he was that pissed off because I dared to ride by him. I mean, maybe boars do chase people that far. I heard that the crops haven't been producing this season. Laniki expects more crops every year. The soil needs to rest. So there could be nothing else causing the crop shortage. I didn't say that. Yeah. You know more than you're saying. My stomach aches and it's hard to concentrate. It's a shame that there is no mint around to chew. Where would I get mint? The master keeps dried herbs up at the house. Okay. You can't get mint for yourself because... The master keeps all the medicine. I can pick and dry the herbs. Yeah, but so she's I not treating her helix right. I'll get them for you. I'll go find some mint for you. Okay. I'm gonna have to break down the door, won't I? Let's Sparta kick it. That is pathetic. Maybe because you can't break down that door. Oh, pfft, okay. Never mind, excuse me, I was trying to have a little fun for once. We do. We kick a bunch of people with the Sparta kick in this game, but heavens forbid I want to kick a human or a door. Or it's too Fresh much. Fresh is better for my stomach, but since the blight, dried is all we have left. The back patch of land is riddled with blight, like I've only seen once before. My old master lost his whole farm to it. I'll never forget this smell. The back of the farm. I'll take a look. Okay. What's the source of contamination in the field? Oh, wait, where's the back of the farm? I actually don't know what the, the back of the farm is. Is it this area? Yeah, because there's not too much. Oh, no, it's this area. Okay, I see it. It's the clear balding patch. I'm sorry. Looks like Hippocrates' fucking scalp, if you ask me. It's a wonder anything grows in this field, with all this mess crushing the plants. Yeah, so it's dirty, basically. They haven't taken care of the, the field. The tanners in Kefalonia use something that smells awful to make leather. It can't be good for the soil. They're using tanning fluid? And leather working fluid. So no one, dude, it's a wonder you'll ever be able to plant anything here again. They fucking dumb. Well, I guess you know what? They don't know it like that, so fair enough. Alexios taught you mankind how to do crop rotation, would you believe it? I guess this rack, maybe? Or this fence or whatever? Nope. Not over here. cart. What the hell is this? Yeah, they're tanning hides where they're trying to plant their crops, it looks like. Oh, here we go. The earth is stained here. That can't be good for the soil. It seems like fire is the only way to be sure of ending this blight. Yeah, they're like pouring shit all in their fucking in their food, and then they're wondering why it doesn't fucking make any good food. Where are the contaminated crops? Is that a wild boar? I am so lost in this mission. Where where are these things? Wait, why is that an elite bear? This isn't a an animal an animal farm. <laughs> this isn't a, that's not a farm uh, a kill location. Are these the crops? Guess so. They look like leather. Are they like growing leather? Not that that's how it works, but I, I guess. Okay. I'll just start burning everything then. Destruction area. 
And what a surprise, burning the land will probably reinvigorate it a bit. Because stuff has to start growing anew on it. I like how Alexios is a man of science selectively when it works out for him. But you know what? I can't fault him sometimes. I can't believe I have to tidy everything up around here. Now I'm beginning to understand Tefta's anger. Oh, we're not done. There's more. Dude, this woman's farm barely works, doesn't it? What the fuck is she doing? Mistios. Yere. Your master claims this blight is the will of the gods. What do you think? Mm. Sometimes crops fail. Could be dry soil, could be insects. It's a shame about the donkey. He was more crucial to the farm's success than the master. Or you, for that matter. Okay, well, I just showed up. How can I make clear You can start ground. fighting all of them. The hole I'm using is falling apart. I have to fix the blade every few swings. Something more sturdy would make it go faster. It's not like you're shackled to this patch of land. What's preventing you from getting a new hole? Have you ever been beaten so hard you lose hearing in one of your ears? Oh, Jesus. That's what happened last time I went to market without permission. So oh, she doesn't let her people get course. actual good I'll tools. Does she do anything right? Like, seriously, does she literally do anything right on this farm? She doesn't crop rotate. She puts, like, tanning fluid all up in her shit. And she doesn't let her people actually get the tools that they need to do the job. And then she wonders why her crop is failing. Like, you're not for real, right? You're not for real, for real. For real. You're all right for a stranger. The water's tasted like a rusty blade for the past few weeks. Last time I had water like that was when I was downriver from a blacksmith. Thank you. Okay, what's causing the water to taste bad? Probably the bear pissing in the lake or something. Might as well kill it. I don't know why it's an elite bear, but I'll kill it all the same. Oh, look, blood! Yeah, it's the bear. That's what it is. Be a more peaceful land than this. Debris might be getting stuck in this net. Maybe the dead man was a fisherman. Yeah. And the bear attacked him for his fish and mauled the shit out of this goat. These don't look like the knife wounds of a man. I'll bet it's the metal from the armor giving the water a bad taste. Oh, never mind. I would have guessed the bear from mauling people. Ugh. Okay, we'll put him here. I'm gonna kill this bear anyway. There's a whole, like, crew rolling around in the background over there. You can even see it. Oh shit, here he comes. You can tell he got suspicious as hell. Alright, Pooh Bear. What was the bear's name in the Jungle Book? I, I do not remember the Jungle Book at all. Okay, there you have it. It was an elite bear for some reason and it dies in one hit. At least the river runs clear now. Alright, and then we're done. So this woman just has no clue how to run a farm, pretty much. I mean, that other one was unlucky, but the whole situation is, is just outlandish. You're, you're just an awful person. The disease crops have been burned, and the river is cleared. That should be the last of the blight. Oh, you truly are God sent. What was the cause of the rot? Yeah, this is on you. You were so busy looking to the sky that you ignored what was in front of you. The gods are not responsible for cleaning the fields or the river. That's on you. What? You dare? Xanthi says you are an agent of Zeus, but you are a false champion as godless as my Ilotes. Get out from here. The poison in your fields is nothing compared to yeah. the poison in your heart. She didn't even want to hear everything else. What she wanted to hear was it was the Helote's fault. When it's really not. And at the end of the day, 
We go back to Xanthi. So pretty much everything went well. I got to bang one of the woman's daughters. I taught the kids a lesson somehow. I saved that woman's husband from a fake Trojan or Athenian horse. And at the end of the day, this woman was a cunt back here, so it all kind of works out. Not really, but I mean, that's how the game is. I can get behind that. I put in a hard day's work helping the random people of Sparta. And it kind of, it was, it was cool, I guess. I use the word, the term, hard day's work lightly, of course. Because basically they didn't do anything. I did all the work for them. Oh, fuck. The real reason why I hate going around far, uh, farms and everything is because when you're near it, you slow down. And you can't outrun animals anymore. Sometimes you just can't outrun them, period. They just move faster than you. Jesus, come on, dude. This is this is what I mean. It, it just, it's so annoying. You have this big horse. You know, you're, you're supposed to be able to turbo all over the place. It's like, dude, let, let's go. Come on. I'm going to die someday. I want to beat this game before I do. I'm going to get down, down the fucking mountain again. And then up to Messania. Or it's actually Messenia, I'm sorry. Well, thankfully the distances aren't too long in this game. I think they're they're reasonable. I'll give them that. Ghost Recon Wildlands was a little bit more unreasonable. So, fair point. Thank you okay. for aiding all of us in Pitana. Stories of you will live amongst us for many years. I help where I can, but thank you. A reward for all your help. The Ranger's Blade. Level 50? Wait. So close. Well, I think that's going to be it for Laconia. I don't think there's going to be anything else. So the only thing left to do is to go back down here. We'll use the Adrestia up. And we will sail up the coast to that one place. And then sail up to that town where the main story mission is. And then I guess we'll just leave the ship here. And then we'll just go all the way out. And we'll, we will start wrapping around all of Peloponnese. Now, I might not do... I probably won't do it all tonight. To be truthful. Because I'm probably at some point just going to run out of energy and run out of time to do it. But at least by the end of tomorrow, I should be able to have done it all. Because it's three... It's four areas. This one didn't take me too long. As you see, it only took me about... An hour or two. Good to have you back, Commander. Oh, okay. Here we Onward. Go. One chest. No, it says there's two. I guess I fucked up. Rumored feather location. Nice. Okay, good. Five percent crit chance. Yeah, there, it wasn't here, so it's in whatever the last location is. Demigod level fifty. I finally did it. I hit level fifty. <laughs> quiver upgraded and everything. So I guess your quiver upgrades as you level. I didn't even see it go to like rare quality. 
So that's it. Any experience we earn now, I think, loops us. Yeah, quest provides more experience, but fewer resources. Locations, war contracts, and bounties. Oh, this is in general. Okay, never mind. I think I still earn experience, right? Unless they hard cap you at level 50. Maybe they hard cap you at level 50 until the expansion comes out. Because in Origins, you would cycle your experience. It was like the Division a bit. Where you, if the, you could gain experience above your max level and it would keep giving you rewards. And I don't know how many times you could do it in Origins, but you could do it over and over. So what I think I'll do... Because i got to go back down anyway. Where is this fucking thing? Forty-six meters for the for that. It's got to be near the sharks. I'm gonna have to go down there and just look. Oh wait, wait. Yeah, it's over by this shark. And I'm swimming with the fishes. Otherwise, it's now sleeping with the fishes. Now I'm swimming with them. Why did it disappear? What the hell? I marked it on my map. It, it, it disappeared. It's the phantom treasure chest. I can only see it when I'm Icaros. Oh, these ruins are big, that's why. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I, I can't see it. It's invisible. Alright, well I gotta kill the sharks then, because I'm not I can't switch back to Icaros until I do. Unless what I do is I find it as Icaros, I swim right above it, and then I just dive down. Yeah, I'm almost above it. Oh, shit. I don't know, this this chest is being weird. Okay, just swim down now. I think I see it. This is literally the phantom chest. Here it is. It's a legend... A, a, a gold chest. The Hound of Hades. It's a ship outfit. I need to get a legendary crew outfit, though. That's what I really need to be uh, gifted with. Yeah, I don't think you get experience at 50. Maybe they don't cycle. So the, I guess there is a limited amount of uh, experience points you can get in this game. And that's it. You don't go above it. You don't get any more. Right? Did my bar go up from that? No, that's it. You do, you do not gain experience in this game above level cap. That's a wrap. You only get what you get, and that's it. They don't let you cycle and gain infinite experience points. I wonder why they changed that. Because it didn't break Origins, per se. If anything, it made it worthwhile to not just bum-rush the story. Because right now, pretty much everything I do is just for my own pleasure and benefit. None of it's going to actually impact my gameplay, other than maybe giving me a rare legendary or something. It's the only reason I, I guess it's worth doing now. Anyway, let's, let's just carry on. I mean, I'll still do this stuff, but I think that that's a little bit lame. Because it, it, it was kind of like an incentive to do some of this stuff. And now that that's gone, I mean, technically, what I should do right now is I should just bum-rush the end of the game. Because there's nothing that will really prevent me. But I, I do want to do all the Cult of Cosmos, because who knows, maybe that's how you get the good ending. You gotta kill all the cultists, and then you fight Demos. And that's the end of the game or something. So I do, I do want to save that. Uh-oh. He refuses to tell us. That's like the only thing he won't talk about. Okay. At least they won't immediately throw me into the story, so I have uh, time to do whatever I want. Alright, I'm gonna upgrade my uh, daggers first. And then afterwards I'm gonna upgrade my armor. Starting with the chest piece and then whatever's lowest. Grab the viewpoint. 
since I haven't been over here, I haven't been able to see any of this stuff before. That would have been nice to get before I came in here. So I guess they figured I would just sail right in and not do everything beforehand. Which is fair enough, I guess. I mean, that, that was a me thing that I did. So what do we have? The usual, a customs house, stuff like that. Actually, only one location. And no blacksmith, so I gotta leave this place anyway. Just a warehouse. One captain. Where's the captain? Yo, the captain is on a fucking break. He is literally nowhere to be found, unless he's over here somewhere. Oh, they're fighting a bear. Okay. Kill the bear. That dude saw me from afar do that, and he didn't give a shit. And you know what? I'm okay with that. Solely for the reason that I can just get in and get out now. In any other game, it would, mean it would look like the bear mauled them to death. You know what I mean? And I would get away scot-free for it. Maybe. Then again, a, a dagger through the face is not something that a bear would be able to pull off. Oh, fuck. Can't wait to update these weapons and armor. Okay. Well, now nah, that's done. Well, there's only two things left to do. Uh, one of which is to go all the way to the south and then back up. But what I think I will do, and I'm going to cut the video to do this, is I'm going to go ahead... Why are there no blacksmiths right under a fast travel point in this game? I'm going to go back, I'm going to fully gear up myself as much as I can with the stockpiled resources I have. And then I'm going to go all the way down and then into Messenia. So if nothing happens, we, you will just literally rejoin me at Messenia. But if stuff happens, I mean, well, then I guess you're going to join me along that. Because as far as I don't know, it could be completely empty down there and, and on the way back, or it could be filled with stuff, and we have to constantly stop-start. But I'm going to leave it up to however much there is. Yeah! Pond of Tainaros, which is apparently a bandit camp, I Best guess. Stay the side. Who's even guarding here? Some weird shit. Okay, sure. Yeah, it's bandits. Or huntresses, I'm sorry. It's more or less roughly the same thing. There go. Killed the bear for free, basically. Defensive abilities, man, they they like to dodge that shit, no problem. Except for Ring of Chaos, for some reason they feel drawn to completely just run right into me. I think that's because I can, I, it bait, it's a bait attack, it, the AI thinks they can hit me. Well, to be fair, I should be grateful, because otherwise, none of my moves would work. Defensive abilities would be worthless. Okay. That down there has nothing to do with anything. Right? It doesn't? Yeah, no, it doesn't. I think that might be the only location out here. So, I mean, with that, 
we might as well just go along this side. Just just do the reverse. Let's make sure the island doesn't have anything. But I don't think it will. Pretty much just like empty places, to be completely truthful. We ride! The island probably has something, right? It seems pretty important. All the way out here at the end. And yeah, I did fully upgrade my gear, by the way, since I am, I guess, going to put this back in. I did fully upgrade my gear. I put on the Viper Hood. I also upgraded the Pilgrim's Hood. Uh, so this is more better for battle, I guess. It's a more damage-neutral option. But clearly, as you can see here, we have this. We have the, the Gauntlets, which give Assassin damage. We have the Fleece. What did I put the, uh, the, the Golden Effect on? Is it these boots? No. I should probably put that on something then. Couldn't I put uh, the, the special effect, the plus 10%? Oh no, I already have it on, that's why. I already put it on something or other. I don't remember what. Couldn't I put poison damage and build up on this? I think I could, right? Yeah, 15% poison damage and build up. I'll get rid of the warrior damage. I gotta, I gotta look into that. I, I can't do it right now. I'm all the way out here and I'm not going back. Oh, good. 330 meters off the coast. There's a random fucking location you can go to. I don't even know if it'll let me swim out that far. I don't even think you can take a boat. The boat will capsize. Well, we'll try to do it. I don't know how, like, what the, the swimming rules are for this game. Like, do you have to be within a certain radius of your boat? I don't know how any of that works. So I guess we'll figure out in about 30 seconds here when I attempt to swim out where ships are supposed to go. You get lost at sea. It's a game over. Well, let's save. Make a quick save. Did it really make it? Yeah, it did. Okay. It was so quick, it almost didn't feel like it. Eh, 200 meters isn't that far, right? It reminds me of that movie Gattaca. I think it's Gattaca. Where the, um... The two brothers would swim out. Is it like a kind of dystopian movie? Where this guy wants to go to space. And his brother is genetically just better than him and he has like some kind of heart condition so he like kind of spends his life like spoofing DNA trackers and stuff it's a pretty sad movie actually uh, he uses like the piss and there's a big fucking shark he uses like the, the piss and the, the skin and the hair cells of a guy who's crippled but otherwise is genetically perfect it's kind of one of those stories about, like, genetic perfection and whatnot. It's a great movie. Good stuff. Underwater cave. Well, let me say, they spared no fucking expense. I had to come all the way out here. So far... Well, you can see the land from it. I got scared for a second looking out this way. I love dolphins. Dolphins are cool. The fish look like they don't have many textures, but to be fair, they are fish. And the last time they tried to put effort into making fish look better, people literally made a meme out of it and mocked them for all eternity, so I guess I can't really fault them too badly. What if we give the fish good AI? Followers of Ares, oh god, I'm not using that. And to be fair, they probably did it because they wanted to add more of immersion. I think COD has tried to do immersion, and people just don't really like it. And it kind of ends up being hilarious memes. But I do think they try to do it to have, like, a sense of... I don't want to say realism, necessarily, but they do it for good reasons. But it kind of ends up being fucked up. 
because what ends up happening is people are like, oh, look at this. You, you press F to pay respects on this dude's uh, funeral. I, I get what they were trying to do. It kind of ends up not coming across that way because, you know, it's a quick time. Well, it's not a quick time event, but it's an interaction moment. They kind of wanted to, like, add a sense of involvement on the player's aspect, I'm guessing. But it ends up kind of just being, like, this weird moment where you press a button to do this thing. It's a really kind of silly meme. I wasn't totally on board with it, but it is fucking funny. Like, I get why they wanted to do 